So this is a review on the tobacco oiled leather Birkenstocks. These are in the style Giza and it's just a thong. So I've had these for about, um, I think we're going on like a year this coming spring. Well, it's already spring, but I got them around like May or June of last year and they aren't, I wouldn't say they're fully broken in. They're not fully comfortable for me yet. Not that they're uncomfortable, but I know that they're not as comfortable as my other Burks. I don't really wear a lot of the Giza um, too comfortably, not because they're not uncomfortable, or not because they're uncomfortable, but rather they just, I don't know. Sometimes I have socks on and I don't feel like taking off my socks to slip these on, but now that it's spring, I'm not going to be wearing um, socks as much anymore. But you can tell how well the cork has held up. A common complaint of all the Giza is that they start to have cracking at the ball of the foot, like where the, where the foot bends. And my foot, I have a pretty wide foot, so it tends to like stick out here. And they haven't cracked, not because um these aren't gonna crack but rather i think they're just too new i don't wear them as much where they're showing some wear and tear but i think if i were to wear these a little bit more they would have cracks here for sure but this is the leather and i think it's been holding up really good um i accidentally scraped let's see oh it's this pair i accidentally like scraped my foot against the concrete there was like a little concrete bench and when I swung my foot over to sit on it, I accidentally hit this area and I felt so bad. I thought it was, it felt so much worse, but it's not even like a texture thing. You can't even feel it. You can just see it. But the leather is pretty thick and it's not uncomfortable or anything. Um, some people say that the toe post, which is this, is painful. I think it could be painful if you're not comfortable with like flip-flops, but it is kind of like a hard plastic. I'm trying to get it to focus on the plastic, but you can see the plastic pretty clearly from here. I'm not sure why it looks kind of scraped. I haven't, so I guess that's just how it looks because this one looks kind of like that on that end too. But yeah, these are in the size 38. Normally I'm a size eight in my tennis shoes, but these tend to run a little bigger. A lot of people like the bigger fit. I don't like the bigger fit. When I bought these in the size 39, my heel was like here and it just looked ridiculous. Like it looked like I had like this much of a space behind me and the arch just felt wrong. I think if you go with how your foot feels inside of the footbed, then just go with that size. Some people may say it's too tight. Some people say it's too big, but if you think it's fine for the arches of your foot, then I don't think there should be an issue. I think I have pretty wide feet, honestly, um, cause I, can, I like the wide fitting Birkenstocks. I've had, um, well, I've tried the size 39 regular in the regular footbed and I'm not a big fan of it not because it's uncomfortable or anything but because of the gap that i that i like have if that makes sense so when i slip these on like the gap is very small if i scoot my foot forward it's fine you know it's not a big these look like they fit fine some people say that my i mean technically my foot looks like it's swinging over or hanging over the side of the footbed but I don't mind it, um, and that's just because my foot is a little bit wider than normal, than the average female, I would say. But that's the only reason that I, I wasn't really sure if Giza was for me, because my feet kind of did hang. Watch, let's see. I'll put these on. So you can see, kind of hangs out, but it more so hangs out on this side of my foot but they don't look ridiculously big. 
and they fit me perfectly, I would say. Some people say this is too close of a fit. I like when it fits like this. So, so far these have um, aged pretty good, I would say. I have sealed the cork once on these. When I sealed the cork of my other Birkenstocks, I sealed these as well. What you wanna do is go ahead and wipe down the surface of the cork with like a rag and then let that dry off and then add the cork sealant. I do two layers, but it also depends. Like these were brand new. They were pretty new when I sealed them. So I just did one thin layer, but yeah. So this is what the, the little um, plastic piece that goes in between your toes looks like up close. So this is a 38 and it's advertised as a lady seven, but these fit more like an eight to me, in my opinion. Some people would say they like the bigger, like if a size seven puts this on, my mom's a size seven. If she puts this on, it looks freaking weird on her. It looks super, super loose. So she has a 37 and she likes her Birkenstocks. I only like the size 39 in the soft foot bed. And I have four pairs of those, but they're only in the style geese, or Arizona, which is the two strap. There's like little to no wear and tear on the bottom. Again, cause I don't really hardly, I don't really wear these. And not because they're not comfortable, but it's just, I have so many pairs of Birkenstocks that sometimes these just don't look that good or I'll wear the Habana because I have them in, this is the tobacco. I have them in both tobacco and in the Habana. But yeah, I think they look pretty good. They're cute. They're supposed to be, they're more of a feminine style. The Ramses or Ramses, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, are the ones that are targeted towards males. Sometimes males tend to wear, I've seen people like men wearing the Giza and it looks weird on them because this, this is this is geared towards women and men should be wearing the Ramses. The Ramses, it looks almost identical, but the, the strap is a wider because it's supposed to be for like bigger feet in men. But this is supposed to elongate your feet. So I hope these last a really long time. I think they should though. I've had them for a year and they're only showing this little much wear. Granted, I've only worn them like, the. Mm, let's just say I wore them for about a week when I first got them. But I got this and the Habana ones at the same time. And I think I prefer the Habana ones because the darker looks sort of like a black and you can dress it up more. This one, you kind of, it kind of dresses down your clothes because it's more of a, a lighter color.